going to Whole Farm to see how they are farming with wildlife in mind. Um, and they've got some great ponds to look at as well. I've been here as a farmer for about 50 odd years. My wife has lived here more than 70 years. Uh, we're a traditional dead farm, an old fashioned farm. Uh, I'm a bit apprehensive about modern farm practices and I'm apprehensive about a lot of the chemicals and what not being used. We're on this farm, we're interested in conservation and we've got to look after the, uh, after the countryside because if we don't, who is going to? All the good stones to cut, I use up doing stuff around the farm. Yeah. And then the rubbish was put up there and then a feature. Lovely. It's great to see all the um, the butterflies as well because they like all the like open blades and things. Oh like yeah. That, don't they? So, lots of dragonflies, butterflies. What else have you spotted on your farm? There's things we haven't spotted yes. on this farm. Years ago, there used to be curlews and partridges, skylarks, and there was one or two other uh, types birds we used to see but we don't see them anymore. Hopefully some of them will be will come back sometime. The uh, skylarks when we used to do hay harvesting, we used to reckon to start hay harvesting about the third week in June, weather permitting, which gave the skylarks a chance to breed. But of course now with the cut several times a year they just haven't got a chance. Pond's been here. We were discussing that <laughs> this morning and we reckon it's got to be about 36 or 7 years ago. Really? Wow. Got a lot of photographs uh, when we dug up. So have you seen any um, kingfishers or, yeah? You only get, you know, very brief glimpses of kingfishers. Okay. I guess you wouldn't be able to use this land for crops or no. anything, would you? Because it'd be too wet. You have a job to. You've got a job to walk across. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Either cut it all out where you can see piles of, of uh, wood all over the place. Yeah. So, well, we didn't use the value of this at all. Right. Kind of marshy, swampy area. And when, uh, when the river is in full flood, a lot of it. Yeah. I really like seeing your like marshy area. What do you do with the, the cattle down there? The cattle down there can only be. That land can only be grazed for short times in the year. And uh, you think it's going to spoil that, but by what we call poaching, it's not, but in actual fact it encourages the wild flowers and of course in turn it encourages the bees and if we don't look after the bees we don't have anything. The same out there with the pollinators, they've got to, even the, even the barley and the oats and all that got to be pollinated and if we don't look after them we have nothing.
So you dug this out and then is it lined? No. No, not lined? Right in this area because we get so much rain. Yeah. Take out a pond within 12 months to your naturalizers. Oh, uh, really? You haven't been told anything with that. Yeah. The same with the ones in another way. There's no vine or anything like that. And then do they naturally colonize or do you plant up the rushes? No, 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 just, just wow. Pretty this good. Is, I don't know. I'll say it may have been here 10 years. May have been here 10 years. About three weeks ago, there was no weed. It's just. Massive. No. It's just. So this hot weather, maybe. Everything's great. So, um, yeah, tell me about your ponds a bit more. They were dug out by a, a local contractor, uh, a young chap, well, he was young back then, <laughs> uh, but it, as I said earlier, there's a lot of difference between driving a, a digger, a swing shovel, there's a lot of difference between driving a, an operating one. And uh, he, I, in my opinion, make, made a very good job of that. We've tried to diversify a little bit in the way of fish and bait, which we went out to an angling club. One there, there's another one up there. We call it steep, but you know, late. Yeah. No. That's the local name for Edge Lane. Ah, okay. Yeah. So when was that steep? I'll say, well, when we were in the steam, I'll say 12 years ago. Okay. I've been 10 years long and we appreciate the countryside. We decided to go into the countryside stewardship scheme at an early day. In fact, we were number 19 on the list, one of the first. And since that, of course, we've built ponds for the wildlife, as you've seen. And uh, we just try to look after the, the countryside as best we can. And um, we do, I look at it as that we don't inherit it from our forefathers. We look after it for future generations. And that's what I feel strongly about that.